Hello beautiful ones, hello raw babies. I'm back with another reading for you. I've missed you guys, but I've had some uh, spiritual stuff to deal with myself. You know what, I feel like there's an energy in the air because this card wanted to be seen while I was, you know, arranging my table. And I really do feel like a fresh new way of living is emerging for a lot of my viewers. I feel like you're feeling your own power. And I feel like there's something new about to burst forth, but I'm gonna clear my energy anyway, and then we're gonna pull some cards and we're gonna see what's going on on your pathway to heaven on earth, okay? Thanks for your lovely comments, your beautiful energies, your donations, your support, it means so much to me. You guys, there is no other group of people I would rather read cards for, you guys really do, you know, pull me back over and over again, despite my rebellious ways, you know, you guys help to heal me in a lot of ways, you know, so I just wanna say I love you all, and now I'm gonna vibe into the energy. Archangel Michael, thank you for blessing this reading. To any being in the non-physical who walks in the love and the light of the Most High Creator, I invite you in if you have a clear message for one of my viewers at this time. Thank you, spirit guides. Okay. Let's see, what's the message for today, Spirit? What is the message for today? I'm hearing highest timeline. Okay, there we go. There's that Six of Swords energy. The calm, peaceful emergence into more, into new possibilities, okay? So you're gliding away from something that might have played quite a big role in your life, okay? But there's a feeling of peace here also. The peace before the abundance of opportunity. It's almost like a, pe a period of peace before a big new stage begins to formulate, right? So they're saying enjoy the calm, enjoy the mellow water, you know, the mellow emotion. There we go. Five straight to the six of swords. So I feel like you're escaping something that would have had you wrapped up in karmic loops all right this was one of those situations where you could keep on going in you you could keep talking to a specific person you could keep on trying to make things harmonic but chaos is as chaos does there is no harmonizing chaos it is here for the balance and i feel like someone learned that lesson you learned that you cannot harmonize with someone or something that simply is programmed toward chaos okay someone could have kept trying to domineer you There's something about domineering energy here someone who just has to win at all costs but you know what you've got the real win here because you are flowing down the river okay god's river they're showing me an opalescent river where you know you get on it and it, it feels so calm and peaceful and there's so much more opportunity where this river is taking you. There we go, Eight of Cups. So this is a big walking away reading. Okay, show me one more. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So you may have been in such a sticky situation that it felt almost as if you had to maybe, you know, sneak away somehow or not let people know what you were thinking or feeling, but rather just go, right? Yeah, Devil Energy. Show me one more, Ace of Cups. So you're moving away from this utter chaos, this pit of energy that wouldn't have changed. And you're keeping, you know, I feel like you're cutting your losses and you're keeping what energy you have left. You're keeping your dreams alive. You're, you're keeping yourself lit up with hope here with the Ace of Cups. You know, it's almost like you're following a seed of love. You're following this uh, feeling of love somewhere. And I feel like you know whatever you were involved in, you know that the best is yet to come, you know? Because this was something sticky and murky and I feel like you're just enjoying the clarity of mind, the clarity of thought here. Helicopter outside. So you may have had to, you know, make a quick getaway or make a sudden getaway or there's something about this getaway where you just had to go and not care what people thought of you or not worry about the consequences for somebody else. This is you having to put your own mental, spiritual health ahead of someone else's requirements, right? We've got justice here. So I'm getting that the universe is overlooking this shift, this transition, okay? Your movements are being noted. 
So this could be your soul group. This could be, uh, I'm hearing like the higher council, or this could be, there's some authority non-physically that's watching the way you move right now and is very sort of, I'd say they're happy with the fact that you, you flowed downwards towards more peace. But also, you know, there's a sense of authority here. There's this authoritative energy moving in. So I feel like, you know, you taking up your own authority has had a great deal of interest non-physically, okay? They're showing me a pathway of you stepping, step stoning, stepping stones, right? They're showing me you hopscotching, uh, you know, avoiding the carnage and, and getting back to peace. We've got the moon card here. So this is definitely, I'm getting, this is why you've got extra energies overlooking this spiritual pathway of yours, because with the moon energy, you know, there's this sense of not knowing, there's this sense of doing something because you know it's right, even if you can see no reward yet, right? You did this solely just because your, your soul needed to breathe, and you needed on some level to take back your authority and your dignity, right? So I feel like this This is why, sorry about that guys, this is why more energies are stepping in to help you because you could feel quite alone with the moon energy and the five of pentacles. Don't know if to get up and close the window or if it's going to shut up now. They're giving you extra, you know, extra watchtower energy here. With the moon, right, the moon is a card of having to go down a spiritual pathway because there's no other option. It's literally, well, I can't go back. I can't go back to this. I cannot go back to the five of swords and the devil. I know that's off the table. So it's deciding. They're giving me better the devil you know, but in the opposite way, right? This is like, I'd rather go out into the night. And this is symbolic with the moon card. You'd rather take your chances on the road, then stay somewhere you know will never change, right? Karmic loops. So at least if you're out in the wilderness of life alone, at least you are free to partake of new opportunities and new things. And I feel like that's the energy coming through here. Like whatever I was stuck in, it was quite scary. And the fact that I couldn't reason with somebody or change anything from within, that arena gave me no choice but to run free from the arena and at least alone i've got opportunity so it's almost like two fearful pathways but it, but one fearful pathway has the opportunity of freedom whereas this fearful pathway was a dead end a, you know a dead end trap you know so i feel like that's why the way you handle this is being observed and noted something about noted you know People noticing the way you handle this, and I, I mean non-physical beings, noticing the way you're handling this specific spiritual pathway. And I feel like you finding your faith in non-physical is so important also here. They're giving me the star card in my mind's eye, like you're holding on to that glimmer of hope. You're, you're holding on to essentially a seed of God, right? And that's giving you your directives. So uh, it's almost like better the God you know than the God you don't. You could have been dealing with someone very tyrannical who wanted to act like they were the God of your world or something like that, but it was a trap. It was no good. Okay, show me this five of swords, please. There we go. The devil again coming out on the table. So whoever's clicking on this reading and, and feeling into these energies, you made the right choice by... I feel like abandoning a cause and, and focusing on your own peace, you are flowing closer and closer to God. You're flowing closer to source energy here. Yeah, we've got the strength card on top of the six of swords. So this was a wonderful move that you made. And I feel like you could be feeling a little spooky. You could be feeling it's your emotions here. I feel like dealing with somebody who was quite animalistic and, and someone you would expect humanity from because we always do, right? We always expect ourselves and other people, whether we realize that or not. And I feel like you expected harmony with somebody, tribal harmony. And there's something about the tribality. Your tribal blueprint has taken a rip, right? They're showing me a map ripped up. Someone's tried to and this gets very complicated when it comes to how energies mix and merge and, and how one thing affects the other. But it's almost like they were trying to, and I'm going to say this in the nicest possible way, rip holes in your tribal blueprint. 
so that it would be damaged uh, when you come across your real family or so it would be damaged so that you would stop believing in anyone to rely on so that you would think that this devil was a real human and blame human nature for this when really this is someone who doesn't have their heart chakra and activated and whose job it is to cause chaos in your mind so i feel like your nervous system could be a little bit you know maybe jittery whatever maybe you know there's going to be some effects on your nervous system here so i feel like that's why you're being overlooked in the most caring of ways and again there's that word authority so there's some sort of authority watching you going down this spiritual pathway ten of swords eight of cups you knew this was a dead end pathway you just knew it was so you walked away from the carnage yeah they're giving me tingles you walked away from the carnage and you saved yourself they really want to get it across you saved your own lineage your own life you saved yourself by walking away from this person and i know there were some head games of course there were with these energies on the table so that's why spirit's stepping in so heavily to be like you did the right thing do not let this person turn your mind do not let them manipulate you don't let them hypnotize you again be as sneaky with this person as they are malevolent show them nothing keep your cards close to your chest keep your walls up high right energetically we've got the tower on the bottom of the deck and uh, i feel like you know it may feel like you've gone through a tower it may feel like everything you could rely on is uh gone or whatever it could feel like every, you know you've lost out here but uh, uh they're showing me that you escaped the tower before it fell okay whoever this devil is they're going to be at the bottom of that tower trapped you may want to look into the mythology of the tower because it goes quite deep but uh, it's almost like they are the monster in the tower and you've just collapsed the building and you're lucky that you didn't go down with it here show me the seven of swords please king of cups yes holding on to that which is most important the feeling of love the feeling of devotion what is life without love what is life without that beautiful feeling and i feel like you know your heart came first here ace of cups with the king of cups i'm hearing that love is promised to you on this pathway love is promised to you whatever that means to you okay queen of swords with the devil yeah and look at the uh it's almost like pride isn't it it's defiance like you can't make me feel bad i'm powerful i've got the free will to take myself out of any situation i want whenever i want to do it okay so there's a defiance here and self-love and a regality of reowning your own timeline reowning your own mind taking over the territory of your mind once more king of wands energy here so this is speaking of that promise of love someone's holding a torch for you someone somewhere and i feel like that's the little niggle that's that energy yeah we've got the queen of cups here someone's almost holding a torch for you so you can find your way home now this could feel like a psychic gps where you're following a feeling and that's all you've got but you know if you've got that feeling it has to exist out there somewhere right you can't sense something that doesn't exist so you are following a beautiful signal a beautiful new pathway i feel like whoever this reading is for you should be really proud of yourself because you literally changed the course of time you literally changed his history essentially or you changed the entire fabric of reality when you decided to stand in the truth of your royal nature that you are gods that you belong to no devil that you are sacred okay and you took back your power here yeah they're giving me huge tingles here show me justice the sun wow do you know what? i just got the most deja vu coming out with the sun and justice i don't know if that was real real deja vu that i just experienced in this moment that's just passed or if this came out in another reading but whoa did that did that deja vu deja rev just hit me the sun with the justice so again you're being overlooked all the way to something that will feel beautiful something that will feel oh full of life full of love you've really flipped the script here in the most beautiful way you chose life like you literally you chose radiance you chose god and even though you knew that walking away from whoever this devil 
times two, right? <laughs> a double devil. Whoever this double devil is, you knew that it would feel a bit scary and you knew you'd be alone when you left them, but you just had to follow that spark of God. You just had to follow what felt good. You had to follow the energy that this being here, and I feel like it is a soulmate energy, is leaving you all across the fabric of reality. I feel like this person is leaving you little signs and energies for you to feel into, right? Now, this gets complicated. I can't explain all this in one tarot video, but it is the way the universe is blended and weaved together. I've got to stop saying weaved, woven. There we go. Okay, so you're definitely picking up on psychic memos from someone who is an ally, someone who is devoted to you, and they're keeping the light on so you can come home to them. And this is psychic. This is like a psychic light that they're keeping on, a torch they hold for you. Show me the moon. But yeah, you were very brave in taking this pathway. I know you were. Yeah, we've got the full energy here. Again, the, the blindfolded energy here. Wheel of Fortune just uh, falling off of the deck. But you knew this would be a whole new leap. You knew this would be an entire new pathway. But again, there's that energy of freedom, right? And when we follow that energy of freedom, it's bound to leave us somewhere beautiful. You couldn't keep following this energy. It would have literally destroyed your nervous system. It would have ruined you. It would have drained you out bit by bit. So you did the right thing here. Show me the five of pentacles. There we go. Not surprisingly, I had a feeling the star was going to show up on the table. Because this is what you've done. You've wished upon a star and you're... I'm hearing full faith. You've got full faith that, you know, things might not be exactly how you want them at the moment. But you know if you keep putting your best foot forward... And you keep turning to God and you know that you're following a good feeling. You know you're going to make it home here. So you're following that beautiful energy all the way through the moon's pathway. And this is beautiful because we've got three in a row. The, uh, the star, the moon and the sun. 17, 18, 19. So you're really doing this. And it might feel a bit mysterious and it might feel a bit spooky. But as long as you can find that good feeling over and over again, it's like you are protected in a beautiful bubble of energy. And maybe that's what you're realizing. We've got the four of wands sort of showing up on the bottom of the deck there. So again, that's a card of homecoming and also a card of being spiritually cheered on, being cheered on from uh, the backstage almost. So you have got lots of authorities non-physically that are very intrigued and interested in your spiritual work. This looks like it was a big one, right? A big old test, a big old lesson that you really did the right thing in, all right? And especially, I like the sequential nature to these cards because there's a sequence here and you will start to notice it now. Maybe you already have, but for someone out there, you will start to notice the perfect orchestration of the universe, how everything is sequenced and balanced and we never get anything we can't handle. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy, okay? And I feel like this is speaking of what's coming, the beautiful freedom and the, the feeling of flowing with life and moving with life and being swept up by life. But also I feel like you already did change your energy and spirit wants to clap for you because you already did this thing, you already moved, you shifted the fabric of reality when you left this situational person. We've got no, wait, postpone, pause and say no. Okay, so this could again be speaking about what you've already gotten away from. But I'm going to clarify this in a second. Because it wants to be clarified. What else for the viewer? What else, my lovely viewers? Okay, break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewind rewriting rewriting the future okay again i feel like these are all energies of something you did really really beautifully already breaking some sort of chain making sure maybe it's your kids you know make making sure your kids get better in the future or making sure that something stops with you saying no to something that would have been so easy for you to fall back into i'm getting then we've got get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Lots of beautiful roses on this card, okay? So I feel like finding 
your inherent value is really important here okay seeing yourself as something shiny and new and beautiful okay in the eyes of god starting to realize how precious you are to god and you are worth it okay this is a message for somebody you are worth it you are as worthy as any other being you could witness on earth so someone may need to have that sort of drilled into them or you may need it to really sink into you that you are worthy of all of these energies supporting you through your spiritual pathway and journey we've got take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill this is a beautiful temple here i i do adore this temple so something about you getting more dreamy you know and finding that beautiful energy remembering what life's all about which is bringing more of what we love into fruition by essentially being channels for really high vibrational energy and creating with our beautiful minds pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so you are the creator of your reality and you made a really decisive choice here to stop something in its tracks cut the head off of the snake show me what else play there we go have fun celebrate don't be so serious so you've done a great thing here you've broken a pattern and you know i don't feel like i need to clarify the no card because i feel like these were clearly a little pyramid of uh you know confirmation letting you know you did the hard work now it's time to play take a break shift the energy nothing is more important than that you feel good okay because your life is worthy of celebration so they want you in a more celebratory energy here then we've got soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone and again you haven't been doing it alone even if you feel really alone there are all these energies here it's particularly this king of wands he's very could be a she but i'm going to read the card how i get it this energy is very very concerned with your development because they are your match so it's almost like they're holding this torch for you but they're also waiting for you to get back into your emotions and to uh, allow the pathway of the heart to meet them in the middle that's what i'm getting here with this so uh you know this could be a soulmate of any variety it doesn't have to be romantic i don't really like the labels because all i care about is soul group from lifetime to lifetime you know i i just love my soul group so labels don't necessarily matter here but this is someone who wants to pair up with you in some way on a loving pathway someone who's a bit of a guide for you and this came up in a reading i did the other day you know we are all the guides of our soul family we guide them my higher self can guide my soul group even when i'm not physically with them because they are psychically connected to the higher self you know that we all share so yeah i feel like you're definitely following the right path home back to soul family mystic healer healing energy flows through you okay so the things you've learned in this uh scenario have really helped you i feel like understand other people's realities and, and how other people maybe get stuck and i feel like you could be helping to pull people out of similar situations for someone out there we've got fellow travelers support is all around you and i feel like this is the uh energies this is the non-physical energy that's literally watching you concerned with you loving on you guiding you back guiding you back home to your soul family and to your idea of happiness so bravo for stopping this cycle i i feel a powerful energy here and it's been lovely reading these energies i really do hope this has helped somebody and uh sending you all my love lots of love Mwah.